Hi, this is Alan Helmick. This is for Artificial Intelligence Machine Learning Class 096F with Tuan at Laney College. Uh, my home school is Berkeley City College. And we're going to be using Google Teachable Machine. So type in teachable machine dot with Google dot com. Once you're there, click on Get Started. Today we're going to do an audio project. In the last video, we did an image project with different color balls, teaching it how to recognize. In a future project, we will also create a Raspberry Pi drone that recognizes certain images while flying. That will be a fun one, so check back for that. Today we're doing an audio-based project. Now to do an audio-based project, the first and most grueling part is to create a background noise sample. That way, the computer knows what sounds are different than what is normal. So let's go ahead and start off the lesson by recording a 20 second background sample and get that out of the way. I'll have to be quiet for the entire time, of course. Very good. We've extracted 20 samples of what should be normally considered background noise. That is no noise in the room that I'm in. Let's create a class called start and add some new audio samples using the microphone. Start. Now you see how it kind of cut it apart. We have to be careful because of the way that it's recording these. That's not a good sample. It's actually split. What we'll want to do is we'll want to reduce the sample size to the actual one we want to hear. In fact, let's do that one again. Start. Let's see if that one doesn't work. We'll find out as we train them. The better trained the model is, the better it will respond. Start. You see here, I don't like this one. I'm going to do a different one. Start. There we go. Start. As you can see, I'm using the slider to reduce the size to something that's more like what we're actually getting for or going for the word start. Start. I don't like that one. Start. 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 Okay. We have eight samples. You can see they're a little bit different. These may or may not work. Let's play one and see what it sounds like. Oh, wait. Not in the current recording. I can't do it while I'm recording. Sorry, guys. Let's move on. But you should be able to play them and hear what they sound like and modify them when you're not recording a screen recording. All right. Let's do one that's called Stop. Make sure I'm in the right microphone there. Okay. Stop. Now that looks like a good sample. I think that we should make sure to pick the right microphone. It'll make all the difference in the world. Stop. 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 I said it a little late that time, so I think that the most of the sound is in the second part of the sample. I'm trying to reduce the size of the samples to get a more accurate reading. This will take some modification. 
this will not work as easily as the video samples did, you'll find, because sound is a little more varied and different, as is your voice. Stop. Now that's eight samples. That should be enough to do a start and stop training model with background noise. We have three variants. We have A, B, and then we have nothing. Let's see how that model works and train it. Now remember, when you're training data, leave your tab open because it uses JavaScript to train the model. Stop. Start. Well, first of all, it appears that our background noise is not properly calibrated. So we're not getting a good background noise reading. Let's try start, stop, stop, stop. Let's do a little bit, turn up the overlap factor and turn down the overlap factor. There we go. Stop, start. As you can see, the current samples have not correctly trained the model to identify the sound. Let's try again and let's create better samples. And this, we're going to go ahead and say hi and no. And let's start again with a better training of the background noise. First of all, let's make sure we're using the right one. Delay, zero seconds. Duration, 20 seconds. That's perfect. Okay, let's record a good background noise sampling. Oh, crud. Let me start over again because I was talking. Let's record a good background noise sampling. Okay, hopefully that produced enough background noise samples to work correctly, even though I thought I heard a phone ring in the middle of that. And let's change this. I think that we're recording too much. I'm going to say one second with a one second delay. Ready? Let's try it that way and see if it doesn't work better. Hi. 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 There we go. That looks like a good one. Hi. 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 Let me try those again. Hi. 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 Okay, we've got eight of those. Let's get the nose done. Let's make the same setting changes. That seemed to work a little better for our current premise, which is a short word. I'm going to leave the delay off. I didn't like it. No. 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 Okay, we have eight recorded sound bites of each. Hi, no, and hopefully a good background noise model with a little telephone ringing. Let's train that with the artificial intelligence. Now remember, leave your tabs open. Okay, now let's make sure we turn the input on and we'll test it. Ah, the 
it does appear to correctly be reading background noise. Hi. 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 No. 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 You see, the no's are doing really well. The hi, there was a little bit of a delay when I was recording them. So we can stop the input and we can go back and we can retrain the model. Remember that the quality of your data is the most important thing when you're training your classification model. Making sure that they're well classified and that it encounters all variables that might create a reaction. Let's go ahead and redo the highs. What do you say? Remove all samples. Let's do those again. Let's turn off the delay this time because I think that just messed with me. And let's just do it this way. Hi. 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 Okay, that's eight samples. Let's retrain the model and see if it doesn't detect hi better now. Remember, it did really well with background noise and no. Bears is correctly detecting background noise. Hi. 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 No. 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 Hi. 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 No. No. And it appears we have sufficiently trained the model for basic detection using only eight samples. Of course, if you used 80 samples or even a greater number, the detection accuracy would increase. Thank you. This has been a teachable moment with Alan with Google Teachable Machine, Laney College, and Berkeley City College.